What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So in a previous video of mine, I covered OBS being completely black no matter what you did to it. In this video, however, I'll be covering a similar issue, but it's not the same. If I open up OBS, you can see what I'm currently capturing now. It's my screen, obviously. However, if I were to enable, say, a game capture, obviously, whatever game I'm tabbed into, if I choose it from a specific window, or I tab into it and press a specific hotkey to get it to capture that window, usually you'd see something similar, the game would be shown on the entire screen, and you'd be able to play and record as usual. Let's say display capture works, which it currently does, and game capture doesn't. How exactly do we go ahead and fix game capture? Well, usually it has an issue to do with OBS linking to the actual game itself, meaning that you're not able to capture it. So the first thing, which is probably gonna be the most common for this video, is if you're trying to play and record Counter-Strike Globe Defensive, then you're going to run into a very simple problem. Basically, because of the cheating epidemic in the game, they've decided to block all third-party programs from accessing it. Meaning, you can't use OBS, you can't use Discord overlay and a whole bunch of other things, unless you add a specific command line option, which basically means you can't play in competitive matches. While it hasn't done anything to stop cheaters, all it has done is stopped content creators recording the way they usually do. If I go ahead and fire up the game in just a moment, you'll see that I'm playing in full screen mode and capturing my game. However, the funny thing about this is that if you try to do the same thing, it may not work properly. So there we go, there's the full screen option currently enabled, and if I wanted to, I can search for a competitive game. There we go, everything's working as you'd expect. How did I do this? Well, I'm simply not using a game capture to record this game, otherwise it would be completely black. I'm in fact using a display capture, which then captures everything from my display and puts it into OBS. Now, of course, if you have a weaker CPU or weaker GPU, this may cause a ton of frame lag and you'd be better off playing in windowed mode in the game and capturing your display that way. For some NVIDIA GPUs, at least in my experience, you're able to run display capture and after a couple of seconds of it being black with a full screen game open, it'll start capturing whatever's on the screen. I'm not too sure how this works, but if you add a display capture, as I have over here, and simply have it on at all times, start up a game like Counter-Strike, it'll work as expected instead of being black. This game capture over here doesn't work at all. Now recently since I discovered this, I haven't been using game capture for anything. I've just used display capture, and no matter what I'm playing, it'll always show up and work on my screen without setting up the game capture to capture that specific window. Next up, maybe it's just having issues linking with the game. What can we do then? Well, first of all, simply make sure that your drivers are up to date and that you're running OBS as admin, as that can often help. You can do this by simply locating an icon, right click, more, run as admin, same thing for your desktop, right click, run as admin. And if you wanted to, you could head across to where the program is installed by right clicking more, open file location. And if you see the shortcut, do it once again. And when we reach the actual OBS64.exe, you can right click properties, head across to the compatibility tab and choose it to always run in administrator mode. By doing this, it'll have the best chance to link up with whatever program you're currently running. And then finally, the third thing, if you truly insist on using game capture instead of display capture for whatever game you're playing, some games just aren't detected by OBS and it won't automatically switch to them or you won't find them on the list. To fix this, you can open up the game capture and choose capture foreground window with hotkey. After doing this, we can head into settings, then into the hotkey section and locate whatever we called our recording section here. In my case, any full screen. So if I scroll down to any full screen, you'll see whenever I hold down Alt and press numpad minus, it'll capture a specific foreground window no matter what it is, whether it's in windowed mode or in full screen mode. So simply tabbing into a windowed or full screen game that doesn't want to capture itself, you can simply hit whatever keybind you have, in my case, Alt, numpad minus, and it'll simply select that program, allowing you to capture it through the game capture. Now, of course, while it is a bit finicky, that is something that you can do. How do we accomplish the same game capture hotkey setup inside of Streamlabs OBS? Well, basically the same thing. Add yourself a game capture option here and double click in it to open it up. Then we'll choose capture foreground window with hotkey from the drop down of modes up here, then hit done. After doing this, we can hit the settings button in the bottom left, head across to the hotkeys section, and once again, scroll down, expand the input name, and then set a capture foreground window hotkey. In this case, alt minus. 
After hitting done, you should be able to hit that hotkey anywhere and it'll automatically select the game and display it inside of this display capture, no matter where you position it on the screen. However, if all sorts of inputs are coming up as black, display capture and game capture, there may be another issue. If you have this issue and you'd like more information, check the description down below for another video on that and it should tell you exactly what you need to do to fix this. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!